to all of our friends at home. How are you? We are so excited to have you joining us today. That's right. Sister, did you see all the other sisters trying to open that door? Yes, they were trying and trying and trying, but they just couldn't open it. Hmm. Yes, that's like when you try to do something by yourself, but you can't do it and you need someone to help you. As much as the sisters tried with all their strength, they were never going to open that door without someone bringing them their kids. You know, sister, that reminds me of our own story of salvation. After we sin, we close the door to our friendship with God. That's true, sister, and Jesus, our savior, came to open it. Out of love for us, he came to open an even more beautiful door. Yes, Jesus is, is our, our Savior. That is right. Jesus came to save his people from their sins. Jesus, which actually means God saves. Yes, we needed to be saved because of our sin. And what is sin? To explain sin, let's go back in time. In the beginning, God created man in his image and established him in his friendship. But man disobeyed God and didn't trust in his goodness. So he chose himself over God. He offended God and it was an offense that couldn't be repaired only by man's own strength. Yes, sister, but God is infinite and yet we venture to disobey him and offend him. But God sent his only son to save us from our sins. The Bible tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 Yes, what a great gift, sister. That is right. Now we know why we needed to be saved and our friends at home may be wondering how Jesus saved us? How did he save us from our sins? And we can find the answer to this question in the celebration of the Triduum. Yes, let's learn more about it. The Triduum is the summit of the liturgical year. It begins on the evening of Holy Thursday and concludes on Easter Sunday. We can accompany Jesus through his Paschal mystery. And we can do this by meditating on and praying about each one of Jesus' gestures of love for you and for me. Let's take a closer look at each of these important days. On Holy Thursday, Jesus met with his disciples and washed their feet to give us an example of how we are called to serve each other. He gave us the greatest commandment, which is to love. Then, knowing that he was about to die, he wanted to remain with us always. So on this special night, he instituted two sacraments, the Eucharist and the priesthood. What a great gift. We have so much to be grateful for. On Good Friday, Jesus gave his life for us on the cross. He died for us so that we could live, so that we could live forever with him in heaven. He left us the greatest example of self-giving love. After completely putting out himself on the cross, he placed his spirit into his Father's hands. In the letter to the Romans, we are reminded that God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. On Holy Saturday, the Jewish day of rest, Jesus' body was also resting in the tomb. But On Resurrection Sunday, Jesus rose from the dead and appeared to his disciples. Jesus got himself with power over life and death. Jesus, by dying on the cross and rising from the dead, opened the doors to heaven for us. Wow, what a great gift! 
And that's why we should live preparing for that eternal encounter with God in heaven. Hooray! Yes, sister. Now that we know what Jesus did to save us, how can we respond to him? Think about all the ways that Jesus has shown us his love. Now, think about all the ways that you can respond and show Jesus how much you love him. Hooray! Yes, sister. How can we not love Jesus who loves us so much? Let's respond by being generous disciples of Jesus. We can strive to do the Father's will in all things and to follow His commandments. We can pray every day and love and serve our neighbor. Sister, how about we end in a prayer and give thanks for the great gift of our salvation and to ask God to help us respond generously to this great gift. Let's pray, sister. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, we give you thanks for your great love shown to us in each one of the events of the Triduum. Jesus, you are our Savior. Thank you for your infinite love for each one of us. We ask that you give us the strength that we need to respond generously to this invitation to love you. We want to be faithful disciples. Help us to be holy. We pray all this in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember what we learned today. Jesus came to save us. He saved us through his passion, death, and resurrection. Now, the doors are open to divine grace. Jesus gave his life out of love for us. How can now we give our lives out of love for him? There's only one thing you can do. Be holy kids! Hooray!